So my guess is if you're watching this video, you have heard of EFT tapping, but you might be a little skeptical and wondering if it's something that you should start implementing in your life. So this is why I want to share with you my experience with EFT tapping and the difference that it's made in my life. But first of all, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Rachel Clark and I'm a certified EFT practitioner and I am very passionate about helping people take back their life naturally because for years I struggled. I struggled mentally, I struggled physically, and now I am the best that I've ever been, which is why I'm so passionate about helping others. So let's dive into EFT tapping. So when I first discovered EFT tapping, I was looking for a means to help myself. I was living off of ibuprofen. I had no energy. I have struggled with depression from a very young age and started researching EFT tapping, but I was very hesitant. And the reason behind that is because I am a huge believer in the law of attraction. And what we, what we speak about, the words that we use, that we are attracting those things back. And with EFT tapping, we are actually addressing the negative um, thoughts, the, the negative emotions that we are having. And I, and I struggled with getting past that because I was like, but if, if I'm actually saying all this, these things and, and saying what I'm feeling, it, it's putting it out there and I'm just going to attract it back. So I ended up just setting all of that aside actually for several years. And I continued on my journey. And in my journey, I actually found some, some natural products that helped me improve my health, um, helped me lose weight, just made a huge difference in my life. And as I continued on my journey, I was also working on myself doing personal development and working on stuff that's going on inside and trying to change my mindset and all these different things. Well, through this process, I EFT tapping kept coming back to me. And so I'm like, finally, like there is a reason that this is happening. So I, I opened myself up to learning a bit more about it and actually put it into practice into my life. And it has been a game changer. So much of a game changer that I, I went forward with my journey and actually became certified with EFT tapping because I know the difference it's made in my life and I want to be able to help others. Because here's the thing. Like I said, with EFT tapping, we are addressing all the, the negative thoughts and emotions that we are having and, and getting it out there. But we are going to have those uh, negative thoughts and emotions anyway. And what happens is that we push them down inside. You know, we try just to take deep breaths and be like, I'm just, I'm going to be positive and, and, you know, I'm going to use positive affirmations as we are still shoving all that negative stuff deep down. And here's what happens is that we have meridians. They are energy channels that run through our entire body. And as we are shoving, all this negative junk down inside of us think of it as kind of like clogging up those energy channels which it's different for every person but it can cause you to you know have no energy it can cause aches and pains it can actually cause diseases in our body so it's so important that we have a, a healthy way to get these emotions out. And by using tapping, it also, it calms the amygdala in our brain. So that is our fight or flight. Because here's the thing, especially nowadays, our body, we're pretty much always in this fight or flight mode. You know, we always have this high stress, high anxiety. So we have got to find 
a healthy way to calm our bodies down. So with EFT tapping, when, once I started incorporating it into my life, and this is something I do on a daily basis, I noticed some major shifts in my life. I was able to actually address some of the things that I have just shoved down over the years. And my life has just gotten so much better because of it. And as I said, this is something that I do on a daily basis because it's so important. We're always having things come up. We've got to find a natural way to help relieve our stress, to deal with the things that we have coming at us on a daily basis that causes us stress and, and anxiety and worry. And this is a great way to be able to to, to release all these things that we have going on in our lives. So this is why I am I, on this mission to get this out there for other people to so you can incorporate it into your life and, and hopefully it will help you like it has helped me. And it's not something where you tap on something and it's a one and done thing. You know, it's something that this is, this is a process and it, and it takes time. And why I've become so passionate about it is because in my health and wellness business, I see that people they get they get on these these roller coaster rides and and we start to make some positive changes in our lives but then we pull back and for a long time i had people ask me like well what keeps you going and keeps you on this journey and for a long time it was like well i just don't want to go back to where i once was but that's not actually true although that's what i believed for so long but what it is is because i was working on myself i was working on my mindset which is why i've been able to move forward because our brain actually is designed to keep us safe so when we start taking steps forward and into that you know unfamiliar territory our brain has a tendency to pull us back and wants to keep us safe and somewhere where we're where we are familiar. So this is why I am, you know, want to help people and teach them about tapping. So that way, any kind of positive changes in your life, you're going to be able to continue to take steps forward and get off that roller coaster ride of starting and then going back and starting and going back. So in this video, I also want to share with you just to get you started about the EFT tapping points. Now, just to let you know, I will be uploading more videos with different scripts on um, different areas, um, emotional eating, anxiety, things like that. So make sure you, you follow me and hit the bell so that way you're notified when I do upload more videos or I also have a private Facebook community that is all about health and wellness, physical and mental. So if you want to join that, I will drop a link down below and I would love to have you become a part of our community. So let's um, let's start going through the tapping points and, and don't worry about like, I don't know what to say, what do I do? This is just to get you familiar with it. And even if you are feeling a bit anxious, um, you can start just by tapping on these points and that you may notice that you just kind of start to calm down a little bit. Now, I always recommend that you rate yourself when you, when you start using tapping and if you are feeling really anxious about something and say you're at a level nine, so then after you do some tapping that you can tell like, well, you know what, I've dropped down to a level seven. So that's something that's helped. Or maybe, you know, you continue tapping some more and you get down to a level three because then that shows you it's like oh my gosh there is something to this and it really does help so let's go over the tapping points your first tapping point is your karate chop point and you just use the tips of your fingers and you don't have to tap hard just enough so you feel it so this is your first tapping point here and then your next one is your eyebrow point and you just tap and then the next is um, the side of your eye where you tap. And then the next is under your eye. And then under your nose. 
And then under under your lip, most people just call it your, your chin area. It's in this little area right here that you tap. And then your, your collarbone, just you feel that bone and it's right, right below it and you just tap. And then your next point is on your side. So for women, this is about where your bra line is at. So whatever is comfortable for you, if it's tapping like this or if it's tapping like this. And then the next spot, the, the final spot is on the top of your head about halfway back and you tap. And so I use about, you know, four fingers there. So I cover a good area and then you tap. And then as you're doing this, just take some deep breaths in and out. And also, it doesn't matter if you want to tap on your right side, your left side, or um, if you want to use both hands, if you want to tap like this, and like this, you can do that. There's no, there's no wrong way. There's no that you have to do it this way to work. As long as you're doing it, that is what matters. And you may find that you have some areas that are a little bit more tender, that that's, that's normal. So don't, don't be concerned about that. And if you have a point where it just actually feels good to tap on that, then tap on that point just, just a little bit longer. It's not like, okay, you have to do 15 taps, 15 taps. It's really whatever works for you. So just familiarize yourself with the tapping. And I encourage you to start doing this just once a day, just start doing going through your tapping points. Now keep in mind that the karate chop point, and I'll be sharing more about this in other videos, the karate chop point, you just use this in the very beginning because as we start using scripts, that is where we are going to do our setup statement. And I'll be explaining more about that in other videos. So. As you go through the rest of your tapping points and then you get to the top of your head and you're gonna do some more rounds of tapping, the next go to your eyebrow point and then continue on with the remaining points. So again, I encourage you to just start incorporating the tapping, getting used to the tapping points, and I will be uploading more videos that will explain this more in detail, and we'll be sharing more scripts that will help you. And also, again, I do have that private Facebook community where we talk about health, physical and mental, um, share recipes and things like that to help people on, on their journey um, to living a better and happier, healthier life. So I hope you found this information useful. Again, I will drop that information down below about my private Facebook group, and I will also have my email address. So please feel free to email me with any questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.